Hello. In this video, we're going to go through how to take inputs in Java. Specifically, we're going to take inputs from the console. So, I have a little class that I set up here, and the class is header, shows the title, which is taking inputs. We see we have a main method here. And so, like all our programs, we're going to, going to start in the main method because that's where the program begins. So, we want to think of this as breaking it up into steps. The first step when you're taking an input is you need to have a variable to hold that input. So let's declare three variables here that we can use. I'm going to declare a string, and I'm going to call that string name. And I'm going to initialize it to nothing. So you could initialize it to no, va to, to no word. You could initialize it to a space. I could initialize it to a name. It doesn't matter in this case what I initialize it to because I'm going to overwrite that. But initialization is an important thing to keep in mind when you're programming because sometimes some of our problems can come from, not initial, from initialization issues. I'm also going to declare an integer, and I'll call this age. And currently I'm going to set my age at 0. And I'm going to declare a double, and we're going to call double height. Or actually call it user height. And the reason I, I chose two words here is I want to illustrate an important point. And that is when you're naming variables, you always start variables with a lowercase letter, and each subsequent word is an uppercase letter. So user's height, and let's set user's height to zero. So remember, strings store words or sentences. Int store integer values, which are negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers. And double store decimal numbers. And again, both positive and negative. So the next step is we need to prompt the user to take an input. So I personally like when I prompt a user, I like to use system.print because that means the input is taken on the same line that the prompt is. So we're going to say, what is your name? So now I need to tell the computer to take an input. So to take an input in using the console, we're going to take make use of a pre-built class called the scanner class. And so I have to add a line of code up here at the top. And it's as following. We're going to declare a variable called a scanner. Now it's a little bit different the way we declare this, um, but as we move forward, you'll learn more and more what this means. So we call it a scanner, S, and you think of it as it's scanning from the keyboard. And when we initialize it, because remember, the left-hand side is the declaration, and the right-hand side of the equals is the initialization, we're going to say new scanner, and we say system.in. This is essentially telling the computer to read from the keyboard. Now, what you'll notice over here is that we get a question mark with an X. So if we click on this, we'll see that we need to import the scanner class. So we click Import Scanner, and if we go up to the top, we've now imported that. So whenever you want to take an input, you're going to use that variable s as follows. So what I'll do here is I'm going to say, I want to, I want to store my name. So I'm going to say the name is equal to. And now I want to tell the computer to read keyboard strikes and to stop when an enter is pressed. So I go s dot. And I'll see I'll get a whole bunch of methods I can choose from. And I'll tell you that the method you want is called next. And the last step is to use the input. So I'm going to say system.out.println. Your name is name. So let's run this now. And let's watch what happens. bring this up. So here we see, what is your name? I put the word Paul. It says, your name is Paul. Perfect. Now remember how we said in class that we need to actually tell the computer what type of information is being stored? Well, we also have to tell the computer what type of information is being inputted. So now, if I want to do system.print, what is your age? 
Same idea, I say age is equal to, and now I need to use the scanner to take an input from the keyboard. But instead of putting next, I'm going to type in next int. That tells the computer to prepare itself for an integer. This is a method in the scanner class to take integers. Next is a method in the scanner class to take words. Now let's take our last input. What is your height? And we go user height is equal to s dot next. And you'll see it right there, double. And so now I can say your name is so and so. You are years old. Now I want to be on the whole screen, so I'm going to go to the next line. You are centimeters tall. So let's do a quick scan. I look up and down here. Oh, I see I have an error. The dreaded semicolon. So I'll add a semicolon there. The X goes away. And let's run this and see what happens. So we've run this now. And I'm going to drag this up. What is your name? My name is Paul. What is your age? I am 33. And what is my height? 188. Now let's take a second and, and look at a couple things just to clean this up. The first thing I want you to notice is that when I take my name and my age, notice they're on the same line. But when I take my height, it goes to a different line. So let's drag this down and take a look. Notice, I use system.out.print for my name. I use system.out.print for my age. But I use system.out.print line for my height. So what it does is it prints out what is your height and then goes to a new line. I don't want that. So I'm going to change that to print. What else do we notice? Ah, right here, there's no space between 33 and years. So let's go back and look at my output, and that is down here. And if we scroll over, we see right here there should be a space. And we should even have a period. So now let's run this again and see what happens. Taking a second to start up. What is your name? My name is Paul. I am 33 and I'm 188 centimeters tall. So we can talk all talk about uh, not just the code, but also how do you make a program that properly prompts the user. So we want to talk about things like when I say what is your age, I probably want to indicate that the age is desired in years. When we say what is your height, you probably want to indicate the units you're looking for. Okay, just to, just to recap. When we take inputs using the, the, in the console, we use a special class called the scanner class. Remember, at this point, we can think of classes as tools in Java that you can take advantage of because they have some pre-written code to do something. So whenever you take inputs, you need to put in this line, scanner s equals new scanner system dot in. And you can change the s to whatever you want, but typically people use s. If we want to take inputs, we need to have variables to hold those inputs. So in this case, we see we have a string, an int, and a double to hold that information. When we take inputs, it's important to prompt the user before that input is taken. So here, I say system.print, what is your name? And then I take the input after that. To take an input, we write what's called an assignment statement. We put the variable name equals, and then we use that scanner variable and a built-in method called next to take an input. And what next does is waits for the user to type something and press enter. We do the same thing for integers and doubles, except for we use a slightly different method because we have to tell the computer what type of input is expected. And then, of course, we output it at the end. I hope this video has been helpful.